Should I do my ground school first or my flight training first or should I do them at the same time? A big question I get asked a lot and let's talk a little bit about that. Hello my friends, welcome back to Late Departure. I'm Adam and as some of you may know, this is my continuing journey to hopefully becoming an airline pilot sometime in the future here. And speaking of which, what are we supposed to do when we are faced with this huge amount of ground school, an absolutely massive undertaking, plus our flight training and all of that kind of stuff. And this is something that I was grappling with for the longest time when I was doing my flight training. And let me tell you about what I did first and how it kind of turned out. And then I'll tell you about what I would do in the future if I had to go back and do it all over again. So when I did my flight training originally a long time ago, I was in the Air Cadets and I went through, you know, the Air Cadet ground school, like a lot of the other Air Cadets and learned about a lot of the air law and theory and all that kind of stuff. And then 20 years ago, when I started my flight training, I did ground school at the same time as my flight training. And I was working part time on the ramp. And we all know what happened then. I did it for three years. It was frustrating. I didn't get anywhere. Ended up quitting to go and make some money and start all over again. But ultimately, I blew a whole bunch of money there and it was really difficult. Fast forward and knowing what I learned from that experience, I attempted to do ground school before I started my flight training. And I, I ended up using the book from the ground up to do my preparations, which did not help me at all. It was too much information. It was like trying to drink from a fire hose. And I, I did that before I started my flight training the second time, didn't work very well. However, unfortunately, by the time I discovered pilottraining.ca, I had already started my PPL for the second time around. And so I actually ended up struggling to do my flight training and my commuting to the flight school and my ground school at the same time. It was really difficult. And I know a lot of people doing it at the same time right now, and they can probably attest to how difficult it is. Because the thing is, uh, some people argue that if you do your flight training at the same time as your ground school, you can immediately apply a lot of the things about weather or whatnot that you're learning while you're learning it while you're in the plane. But the thing that my old flight instructor, Ken, used to say there, which is very true, is that the airplane is the worst classroom. It's the worst place to learn stuff. It's so difficult to learn stuff in the plane, uh, let alone all the techniques that you're learning. If you add on to that all the theory and stuff that you're trying to, to learn as well at the same time, in those late nights you're spending studying all your ground school stuff, it's tough. It's really tough and it doesn't work very well. So that's in my opinion, of course, take it with a grain of salt. I know people who do it at the same time and you know, they're like, eh, you know, they'll, they'll get 60, 70% on their exams and they'll, uh, they'll make it work. Or, you know, I just had some cadet students and a, a lot of them did very well. You know, they were doing flight training, they were doing ground school and stuff like that at the same time. And a lot of them did quite well. So, you know, it is possible. It's not to say that it's impossible or anything like that. However, if you want to actually remember the stuff you learn in ground school and you want to use this knowledge long term and you want to be a responsible pilot, someone who can take responsibility for hundreds of people and fly safely and be confident, then it might be a better idea to take a little bit of a different approach. I unfortunately found myself doing the ground school during both my PPL and my CPL and I struggled. It may be because I'm old, you know, that could be another thing. Uh, it also just may be because it's a lot of work and that is just what I was faced with at the time and that's how I got through with it. But how I dealt with it is I actually took time off from my flight training and I ended up spending, you know, a month off only doing my ground school training just to get through the ground school so I could focus on my flying. That lesson taught me that finishing ground school first is definitely the better way to go. And that brings me to the conclusion here. If I had to go back and do this all over again, I would definitely do the ground school before I start flying. I would do the whole thing. I'd go on pilottraining.ca. I do the quizzes. I do the tests. I do the study. I'd make my flashcards. I'd learn all that stuff so that when I actually do fly, I can say, oh, this is what they're talking about in this meteorology chapter. Oh, this totally makes sense about aerodynamics or something like that. I would totally do it first because, you know, number one, it would let you just get the written exam just out of the way. So I think you only need uh, 
like a handful of hours, like 10 hours or something like that to write your, your PPL exam. Once you have those hours and you can write the exam, if you already have the knowledge in your head and you can just write it, it means you can focus on just the flying and you can finesse that. Uh, my last instructor, he always emphasized the artistry of flying. And I always found it difficult to focus on the artistry of flying if I was too busy, worried about the, the technical and theoretical aspects of it in the background. When you can just focus on the flying and have that knowledge in your head already so that you can just put it together and make it work in the air, then you can make art in the sky. Then you can be an artist and fly and focus on the artistry and the mastery of the technique and all of that kind of stuff. So again, this is just something if I'd go back and this is actually what I'm doing right now while I'm in Vancouver, I'm actually spending a few weeks, like two, three weeks to do all my flight instructor ground school before I officially start my flight training for the flight instructor rating. And I'm totally looking forward to that now because, you know, going through, doing the ground school, having that done and squared away before I start the training means that when my flight instructor instructor comes and tells me to do something or asks me about something, I'll be like, bam, I know that. And oh, for the first time in a while, a mandatory plane break. It's a small plane, but uh, hey, it's still something, right? Oh, I think that's the Pacific Flying Club multi-engine there. Is he actually going to land? Or is he just doing a low and over? Oh, it looks like he's actually coming in for a landing. Maybe a touch and go or something. Good times. So that's my conclusion. You know, honestly, going through and doing your, your ground school first just takes such a load off your plate, makes things a lot easier, a lot more straightforward, and it'll ultimately just give you a lot easier time. Uh, you know, you can also do your flight training first and then, uh, and then try to do your written later, but the thing is you gotta finish that written before you do the flight exam. So it's, I, for me, I just find it's a much better idea just to get the written out of the way, get all that knowledge, memorize it, prepare it, be all set to go, and you'll have such an easier and better time in your flight training. Again, take it with a grain of salt, just my opinion. In any case, I hope all of you who are about to get into this, hopefully you're all starting that or getting into ground school. If you're curious about which uh, website or which way to do ground school is best. I have some videos on that you can check out somewhere around here and I hope all of you are out having fun, enjoying your flying, your flight training, having a really good time, enjoying the weather and as always remember it's never too late. See you next time.